Standardized patients are used across the country in medical schools to help students learn their clinical skills, how to talk to patients, how to counsel patients, how to examine patients. I think what's different here at Carl, Illinois, is that we have woven them throughout the curriculum. It isn't a separate thing they do here and there. It starts from the second week and it continues on. I'm a standardized patient. Uh, I'm given a scenario to portray. I'm given a list of symptoms. I'm given a family history and a medical history. And then uh, our medical students interview me to try to figure out what's wrong with me and to try to figure out how to make me better. I'm also able to work with students on their interpersonal skills. Uh, what did they say to connect with me? Uh, what words did they say to make me feel comforted? Did they say anything to make me feel apprehensive? They have the ability to provide um, feedback uh, in the form of formal evaluations um, and checklists. Some of those examples might be, did a physical exam feel comfortable like it should, or were there parts of it that were maybe a little bit uncomfortable that shouldn't have been? Um, we also put patients in uh, situations where they might be getting or receiving bad news, or they might be suffering from different um, illnesses or conditions that are a little bit more challenging, and that sometimes provides the chance for the patient to tell the student how they might improve on delivering the news or showing empathy. I think the unique aspect is truly letting the student know what it felt like to be that student's patient. Getting feedback on the word choices and the language to use has a huge part to do with empathy because if you use the wrong words, um, people may take your intentions very differently. It's not just about word choice as well, it's also about the, the movements, uh, the touch, uh, things you will never learn in a book, but things that a standardized patient can give you that direct feedback. You were touching me too tightly. I remember um, one of the patients who was simulating the environments where he was going to pass away, or this is a critical illness. He said, oh, you helped me too tightly. I, I most likely would be weak by that point. And then I took that feedback on. Our standardized patient program uh, is very thoroughly integrated with our doctoring course. And so we're very frequently seeing standardized patients for almost every component of the physical exam that we're learning. And that gives us an opportunity to constantly refine and practice our skills so that we're getting better each time we uh, see a patient without the stakes of it being a real patient interaction. You're not a physician innovator without being a physician. And that includes being able to be patient-focused, what is right for the patient in front of you, and to be able to speak to that patient and examine that patient and develop that doctor-patient relationship that is core to healing. So that's what this is about.